the invasion of Iraq again. It's the most clear example. It was known, it's understood that it's going to increase the threat of terror. Yes, it's done so, seriously. Uh, the invasion of Lebanon over uh, uh, the summer of uh, 2006, which also very poorly reported, but it devastated southern Lebanon and it left large parts of it almost unlivable. Uh, pretext that can't withstand a moment's analysis, uh, but uh, pr uh, presented in the West as justified defense and so on. Uh, what do you think the effects of that are going to be? I'm, I'm very likely to create uh, new generations of uh, jihadis, uh, fear, angry, bitter, uh, wanting revenge, and eager to get it in any way they can. Uh, that's the effect of such actions, and the predictable effect. I mean, even minor actions of the Bush administration increase the threat of terror. So, for example, uh, you know, there was, uh, over Bush's objections, uh, there was uh, 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 an official investigating commission after 9-11, uh, the 9-11 commission, to uh, determine ways to secure the country more, more effectively. And they had a whole series of recommendations, most of which have been ignored. Uh, they, in fact, set up a subsequent committee just to monitor uh, rejections of their proposals. And one of their proposals, which comes to mind immediately if you just look at a map, is that the U.S. should secure the Canadian border. The Canadian border is a very long border. Um, you and I could walk across it uh, carrying a small nuclear weapon in our knapsacks. Uh, and it's uh, mostly, you know, it's some security, but not much. So they proposed raising sharply uh, border security in Canada. What was done? What was done is that the Bush administration reduced the growth of border guards from what it had been under Clinton and shifted it toward the Mexican border, which the 9-11 Commission wasn't concerned about. Uh, but it's more important to you know, feed your uh, jingoist uh, constituency and their needs to think the country's being overrun and to deal with the effects of the so-called free trade agreements, which are causing, uh, which are predicted, as predicted, are causing a huge flow of people to the north who can't survive, uh, you know, Mexican agriculture can't survive uh, competition with highly subsidized U.S. agribusiness, uh, Mexican businesses uh, can't deal with uh, U.S. corporations that are, must, by treaty, be granted uh, uh, national treatment in Mexico, and that's, that's what NAFTA was about. So sure, there's going to be immigration. In fact, Clinton knew it. Uh, NAFTA was signed in 1994, and 1994 is also the year in which Clinton militarized the Mexican border. It had been a pretty open border before that, both ways. But Clinton's uh, Operation Gatekeeper militarized it, same year as NAFTA, and presumably the same reasons. You could predict what's going to happen. Uh, well, so now you're building a wall on the Mexican border where there's no notable terrorist threat and uh, uh, leaving the Canadian border mostly unprotected. 